Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Um, I just wanted to um, take off some time just for myself and uh, usually while doing that I'm, I go through a lot of guilt but this time um, I have learned to put myself first without feeling guilty and without explaining anything to anyone. So yeah, I'm back. And on my lips today, I'm wearing this Color Bars um, Kiss Proof Lip Stain in Stinking Rich 010. It's a very nice deep red. So I think wedding season has started because in the next... Um, one, Jan, five, March. In the next four or five months, I have so many weddings to attend. And uh, so I thought I'll show you how I like to uh, prep for it. And also I have a lot of brides who always message me and tell me um, to help them out with some natural um, remedies. So this is what I'm going to do. Now, generally, um, during the colder seasons, my keratosis pilaris, I think you guys know I have it, flares up. And... Because it flares up, I really have to uh, put in a lot of effort to um, keep it maintained. And also, naturally, my back and my stomach is a little darker than the rest of my body. So I'm trying to even that out. And I'm going to show you guys one easy body scrub that I use. Uh, I have been using for a while now and it works really well. And I will share all my tips with you guys. Uh, so if you are getting married, then this will be really helpful. So I kind of in the middle of using the body scrub realized that I haven't made a video about it. So this is what is left of it. But I will tell you guys all the ingredients I put in. And if you've been following me, you should have these ingredients at home. And even if you don't, you can always buy it. I will provide you guys the links in the description box. So the first ingredient is rice flour. This is one of my most favorite ingredients when it comes to exfoliation it's really good it helps mildly exfoliate your skin and um you know remove the dead uh, skin cells and makes your uh, skin really soft and supple and because this is on your body it is not harsh so you can use um rice flour now uh, about the quantity it really depends like because i had to use it on my entire body today i like made a lot uh, so it really depends on how much you want to use but whatever ingredients I am showing you need to use equal parts of it uh, and you are good to go. Another favorite ingredient of mine is wild turmeric. You guys know this. I love using it. Some of you guys are, are allergic to wild turmeric and if that is the case then please use a sandalwood powder. I don't use sandalwood powder because it makes me a little dry and during the colder seasons I do not want that. So if you are allergic to wild turmeric you can use um, sandalwood. Also basin which is gram flour extremely good as a cleanser. So if you are someone who does not want to use any kind of body wash using basin will really help clean your skin and um, cleanse all the dirt and oil and everything that is there the next ingredient is lemon peel powder you can use lemon peel powder or orange peel powder both these ingredients are excellent when it comes to evening out your skin tone it will remove any kind of tan whatever you have uh, going on with acne scars and marks and some people have back knee uh, so it helps fade away all of this but again the key is to be uh, consistent and use it regularly now, for someone who has uh, keratosis pilaris or uh, you have a lot of acne on your back, neem powder is excellent. So make sure to add a little bit of neem powder. You don't want, you don't need to add equal parts of it, but maybe one or one and a half spoon of uh, neem powder really helps. It helps me with my KP, and uh, if you have a lot of uh, acne on your back, it will help you with that also. And the last and my miss, I always have to. And the last and my most favorite um, powder is the aloe vera leaf powder. From the time I've started using this, it has been a game changer for me, guys. Uh, now, the reason I use it in the powder form is because it's just easier to mix. And uh, if you don't find the natural aloe vera, then this is like a good alternative. Uh, whenever I use this, it does not make my skin dry and flaky and stretchy. It moisturizes my skin but is also very effective. Now, to mix all of these ingredients together, there are three things you can use. If you have extremely dry skin, use raw milk. 
if you have extremely uh, oily skin or sensitive skin on your body you can use curd and if you feel like oh no i don't want to use you know curd or uh, milk you can use rose water and it's the best the only thing is that you'll have to keep purchasing rose water because you will need a lot of it to mix it because this is for your entire body but otherwise uh, milk and curd work really well now if you have the time obviously you can use this every day but i think three times a week is more than enough now all i do is i you know once i'm in the bathroom i wet my body and then i apply this all over my body wherever i need it i apply it everywhere leave it for about two to three minutes and then use circular motions to like you know really scrub it into your skin and once you've done that you leave it on for another two three minutes and then wash it off now if you are someone who has to use soap you can use soap first and then use this i wouldn't suggest you to use uh this uh mask and then go in with soap because it just makes it not effective and there's no point of using this body scrub so make sure you use your um soap first and then use this scrub it's pretty easy to use and it does not take a lot of effort i know it seems like a lot of effort but it does not do i recommend storing it you can definitely store it but i do not like storing my uh, masks i like making them fresh now another thing is if you have kp uh, one thing that i have noticed works really well is after i come out of the shower i like to go in with some kind of serum now you don't have to buy separate serum for this whatever you have you can work with it i sometimes like using the almond skin brightening facial oil and on other days i like using the vitamin c uh, serum because this will really help exfoliate your skin over there and uh you know like help with the flare up and reduce your kp uh i have noticed that on days when i feel extremely dry i like going with the almond oil and on days when i feel like i am you know i am having a flare up i like to use this because anything that is exfoliating uh for your skin really helps with kp you can use anything with aha bha but i have never found the need to uh, these things kind of um, help me out with it and i've been uh, doing it and i've been noticing a, a very big change so i like sticking to these uh, masks and these ingredients also another very important thing uh, which is the key to keep your results and uh, make it effective is to moisturize your body afterwards i know a lot of girls uh, don't like moisturizing but try moisturizing it really helps with your skin it keeps your skin really soft and makes the results really effective so i will leave the links to some of the uh, moisturizers i use in the description box you can use any but always make sure to moisturize if you do not like moisturizing or if you have extremely dry skin you can also use a little bit of coconut oil to uh, just apply it all over your body i know a lot of people don't like coconut oil but i really love using coconut oil on my skin so if you do not like using any of the moisturizers you can use coconut oil but always make sure to moisturize your skin so that's it for the video guys if you suffer from uneven skin tone any kind of acne marks scars tan anything try using these um this mask and everything that i told you it will really help you out and if you are getting married this year then congratulations i congratulations i uh, hope um you live an amazing life and you are marrying the right person and you stay happy forever i will meet you guys in my next video i will leave the link to everything in the description box you can check it out and uh, i will meet you guys in my next video bye